एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम we are discussing periodic properties and in today's video we'll be discussing hard soft acids and bases and molecular geometries welcome to west and academy myself dr garima gaba if you want to read more about this topic you can refer to the book by estan publishing the link of the ebook is given in the description box below so we'll discuss in two parts in the first part we'll be discussing about hard and soft axes and bases and in the second part we'll be discussing molecular geometries so let's start with the first part in which we are discussing hard and soft acids and bases so before discussing what are hard and soft acids and bases we'll discuss what are acids and bases in general different theories are there which will define acids and bases in their own terms N no theory is incorrect we can use uh, whatever theory we want according to our element or any compound for example the first theory is arrhenius theory it says substances producing h plus are acids and substances producing oh minus are base so whatever substances are producing h plus they are known as acids and those which are producing oh minus are bases for example when we consider hcl so when we ionize it in the solvent system we'll get h plus ion so it's an acid nitric acid sulfuric acid all are liberating h plus ions and for example bases like when we are considering sodium hydroxides ox hydroxide naoh so it will liberate oh minus ion in solvent system so it's an base koh is a base so like that Next theory is given by Bronsted Lorry both independently said that acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptor so in in return of h plus and oh minus those who donate protons h plus or proton in general are acids and those who uh, accept these protons are bases next is your lewis theory lewis gave this theory in which very which gives a very wider definition like most compounds can be uh, consider in this which says acids are those that accept electron and bases are those that donate electron pair so those compound which accept those electrons are acids and which they are having less electron density that's why they accept electron pairs and all those compounds all those substances which donate those electrons because they are having electron rich species with them they are known as bases so what are these soft uh, hard and soft acids and bases so metal ions may be divided into two types depending on the strength of their complexes with certain ligands so they are divided into two category type a metal and type b metal so what are type a metal these are smaller ions from group 1 and group 2 that means on the left hand side of the periodic table and left hand side of the transition metals particularly when they are in high oxidation state so so they are very small size uh, species in which they are having they are classified into the type a metal they form the most stable complexes with nitrogen and oxygen donors and also with f minus and cl minus so that means these type a metals are the acids which can easily accept electrons and they accept electrons with what type of ligands preferentially with the ligands in which the donor atom or your donor which is which is donating the electrons is nitrogen oxygen or f minus cl minus the second category of metals are those which are on the right hand side of the periodic table because we have already seen the periodic table in the previous video you know on the right hand side of the periodic tables are mostly metalloids and non metals but the the metals which are there they are having uh, soft properties the size is large and they are having the low oxygen oxidation state and these types of metal they prefer to form particularly stable bonds when the donor atom is having ligands such as i minus cyanide ion thiocyanide ion and so on so how do you uh, classify these as the type a metals are known as hard type b are known as soft and the intermediate one are known as borderline so as we have discussed in the previous slide the one which are coming on the left hand side of the periodic table this is again the periodic table for your convenience so this is the left hand side of the periodic table and this is the left side of the transition metal which includes tantalum titanium and so on so these red marked are the type a metal which we have discussed in the previous slides so all these are hard acids 
and this uh, including this as well and these are the soft one which comes into this with the higher coordination number and the yellow one are the border line that means their properties are between hard and soft so they can form bonds with the ligands which are preferentially formed by both the hard and soft acids. So let's move ahead and discuss some of the examples. So these are some of the example of hard acids. First of all, what are the properties of hard acids and what are the different examples? So characteristics of hard acids that the atomic center of small ionic radii less than 90 picometer, high positive charge, empty orbitals in their valence shell has to be there, low electronegativity, low electron affinity and they are having Y energy, high energy LUMO orbitals. Different examples are there which you can see and which you can have in your uh, notes or something so that you can know that these are the examples of your hard acids. So we know that these categories are including in hard acids. Similarly, we will we'll consider the case of soft acids. The All the properties are just opposite of that of your hard acids. They have to be large radii as compared to your hard acid which are having the small radii. They are easily polarizable. They are having the in electronegativity is intermediate like between 1.9 to 2.5, low energy LUMOs and a magnitude of LUMO coefficients and so on. So these are some of the examples which have which are showing soft acid properties to us. And other uh, metals or other uh, positive charge species which whose properties are between your soft acid and hard acid are also known as borderline acids right so these three categories are formed hard acid borderline acids and soft acid borderline are between your hard and soft acid similarly if we classified bases as well bases are those according to lewis theory which can donate electron pairs so that acid can accept those electron pairs and they can form bonds bases are also sometimes known as ligand in coordination chemistry so hard bases are those which are having small radii just like with our hard, uh, hard acids and they are electronegativity atomic centers like they are very having very high electronegativity, weakly polarizable and high energy homo orbitals are available. So these are some of the examples where we are having hard bases with us. Next is our soft bases. Again, the properties are opposite, same as in the case of your acids. So in the bases like hard bases having small radii, Similarly, soft bases is having large atoms. Electronegativity is between 2.5 to 3. Is may the electronegativity was between 3 to 4. Like this, weakly polarizable it are, are hard bases. Highly polarizable are soft bases. It is very easy to polarize or distorts their structure. Like polarizability is a periodic property which we have already discussed in the previous video. So that is the property which is uh, differentiate our hard bases and soft bases. So these are some of the examples of soft bases like we have already discussed in the previous slide. Iodide, cyanide, thiocyanide are some of the ligands which are soft bases. And the next one is borderline. Same in the case of acids, bases, borderline bases are those which are between hard uh, and soft bases. So these types of uh, bases like aniline, then these uh, nitride, bromide ions, these prefer to form bonds with both hard acids and soft acids. That's why they are known as borderline bases. Next is your basic theory, which says hard, soft acids and bases, the polarizability of an acid or basis plays an important role in reactivity. As we have seen, hard are not able, we, we cannot polarize the hard acids or bases easily. And we can easily polarize hard acids and bases. That's why they are, they, they are known as soft acids and bases. So hard acids and bases are small, compact and non-polarizable. Soft acids and bases having different opposite properties that they are having a more diffused distribution of electrons. So they are easily disturbed, their geometries can be easily disturbed or they can be easily polarized. HSAB theory is hard soft acid base theory. The full form of HSAB is hard soft acid and bases. So it's a theory which says that hard acid react preferentially with hard bases and soft acid react preferentially with soft bases. 
so like uh, all like people attract to each other like we we meet different type, kinds of people in our day to day life but we gel up or we bond with people whose nature matches with us so hard assets always tries to bond with hard bases soft asset always try to bond, form, form bond with soft bases when there's a hard asset present in a system and he has the option or it has the option that it can form bond with both the bases like both the bases are present in the system hard base as well as soft base but as the hsap theory says that it will prefer to form bond with the hard base not soft base because they they form the strong bond so the bond which is formed between like people or the like assets and bases are strong hard asset will form bond with hard base soft asset will form bond with soft base and when we have categorized into the borderline borderline asset can form bo bond with both hard base and soft base but it prefer to form bond with borderline bases only like these are some of the example we have discussed over here hard assets and bases so these are my hard asset these are my hard bases so these hard assets will prefer to form form bonds with these hard bases they will form stronger base which is difficult to break similarly these are soft assets and bases these are my soft assets these are my soft bases if you see these are mo mostly which are existing in the, the left side of the periodic table and these are mostly on the right side of the periodic table and these are the soft bases which are easily polarizable so these ions are formed prefer to form bond with these assets and not with these and vice versa so in first part of the video we discussed about hard soft acid and base theory we discussed what are the in general what are acids and bases depending on various theory lewis theory said that electrons all those species which are able to attract electron or gain electron are known as acids and which are able to donate electron pairs are known as bases on that basis we define what are hard acids and what are soft acids what are uh, what are hard bases and what are soft bases and according to hsab theory that is hard soft acid base theory it says hard acids prefer to form bonds with hard base and soft acid prefer to form with bonds with soft bases so in the second part of the video we'll be discussing molecular geometry which is again very important topic for periodic elements to be discussed in molecular geometries we should know what is what are the different geometries a molecule can attain to stabilize the system so this all this will be discussing in the second part of this video and if you want to read more about this topic then you can refer to the book by estan publishing please share like and subscribe to our videos and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notification from estan academy All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.